Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. This is Simply Carolyn, y'all. This is my third video of the day. I made one making butter beans for New Year's dinner. I did one uh, making sweet potato pie, and this is going to be a pineapple pound cake. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, y'all. I'm gonna get the camera turned around and show you my good ingredients that I will be using. So bear with me a moment. All right, family, here are the ingredients. Like I said, I'm making a pineapple pound cake and it calls for three cups of cake flour. So I'm using Swan Dons, which is already pre-sifted. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also calls for a half teaspoon of baking powder. I've already put that in my flour mix and it's also been sifted. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of this butter vanilla cream bouquet. And I will be using three cups of sugar, which I've already have measured here. Five eggs, which are room temperature. I could not find the pineapple extract, so I will be using pineapple jello pudding mix for the pineapple flavor. I have two. I was looking for the big box. I couldn't find the big one, so I'm using two of the small ones. I will be using a teaspoonful of nutmeg. I have three sticks of room temperature softened butter. I have softened cream cheese for the for the icing for the cake, as well as powdered sugar. I will be using a tablespoon of Watkins vanilla extract. I will also be using, I had to come over here because my little area is small. I have a cup of milk and I also have a can of crushed pineapples well these were the tidbits because i couldn't find the crushed ones so what i did was drain them and then i put the tidbits in my little mini chopper and chopped them up so once i get everything mixed up and incorporated i will be folding that in so yeah y'all let's get started okay y'all so i'm gonna start with putting my attachment on here i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and y'all another thing before I get started another thing I want to do starting with my videos in 2022 I always pray over my meal before I eat it <clears throat> but for 2022 I'm also going to start praying over anything that I cook so at the beginning of my videos I will try to start and well I will start incorporating a simple prayer so let's get started with this one Heavenly Father I thank you for life health and strength most of all I thank you for allowing us to see another year God and I'd like to thank you for allowing me to be able to have health in my body to get in the kitchen and make delicious food for my family Lord God I ask that you would bless it remove any impurities that may be in any of these ingredients that I'm using Lord, let it be nourishment to our bodies, and God bless other folks to be just as fortunate as I am to be able to make good, healthy, delicious food for their family. And God, I ask that you just continue to keep us in your arms. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using my short tripod, y'all, because like I said, my space here in my kitchen is very small, so... I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to use what I got. So I'll be starting off with my three sticks of butter. So I'm going to go ahead and get them in there. Make sure that your butter is room temperature. It makes it so much easier to mix if it is room temperature. Yo, it's hard to believe that this is already the end of 2021. And if you are still here in 2021, truly you've been blessed. Y'all, so many people have died and left here. Oh my goodness. But if you are still here, just know that God have you here for a reason. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to continue to love on everybody and just be a good person. That's what he expects us to do. 
you know. Every day won't be Sunday, but hey, every day to me above the ground is a good day. Y'all, like, can already hear the fireworks. People are celebrating. It is actually 8.48. So I'm trying to get this cake baked before 12 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, we will be having church service. At our church, we're going to do it online as we've been doing all along. We have not gone back into our church yet because of COVID. It's small. And my pastor is one that listens to the instructions of God. She said, we are not going back in until God says so. And whenever he gives her the word and tell her that we need to go back into the sanctuary, we will be doing it. But until then, we have services online every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Robinson Temple Church, Pastor Brenda Gore, Bishop Melvin Pennington, and Pastor Hemingway, which is my husband. I'm sure you guys have seen or probably seen some of the sermons I've uploaded from him. We also have Pastor John Gore Jr. And we also have Evangelist Natalie Reed. So if any time you guys would like to check out my Facebook page. On Facebook, I'm Carolyn Hemingway. I do have the church's um, number to call in on Sunday. Services start at 11 o'clock. So y'all feel free to call in and join. All right, so I got my butter in here. So y'all, we're going to go ahead and get started. Because y'all, I can ramble all night, but I won't. Let me get my, I unplugged it because I was using it earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let me get Next plug back in. We're gonna go ahead and get this done, y'all. We're gonna have this done before 12 o'clock.
I'm going to, I got my butter in here, got it creamed. Now I'm going to start at slowly adding my three cups of sugar. I'm done with this portion I'm going to start with my dry ingredients yeah and then alternate between the flour and the milk I'm going to add my vanilla my my vanilla extract my cream bouquet into the milk and I'm going to add my nutmeg into the flour as well as the jello. So y'all stay tuned.
me my pineapple. No, I had it earlier, but this is pretty granulated. It's pretty granulated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into the dry mix. Uh, pineapple pudding. And yeah, it smells so good. Definitely pineapple. Oh, yes. All right, so here's where you alternate between the wet and the dry. Here, I'm just gonna kind of whisk this all around because I added more stuff to it. Oh my gosh, y'all, if y'all could smell that delicious pineapple aroma that I'm smelling from that jello, it is delicious. It smells delicious. All right, so this is gonna be my dilemma here. This is not the easiest pouring spout. Here, and I don't want it all to fly back in my face, so I think I'm gonna use another one of my cups, like I did with the sugar. I don't want to make a mess. Anytime you cook, you know it's messy, but ugh, I definitely don't want all this to fly back in my face. So what I'm gonna do is dip it in my cup here. then add it slowly to my mix. All right, so we're gonna start with dry and end with dry.
I'm trying to maneuver this in a way that you guys can see. So there we go. I love this mixing bowl. So all I'm doing is just making sure that this is all incorporated. You don't want pockets of dry flour in your cake mix. So, and that came from as I was putting the flour in, whether you got it on a slow speed or a high speed, it just flies all over the place. But nevertheless, we can fix that. That's my husband coming in. So I'm going to fold. I have some crushed pineapple. So I'm going to fold that in. All right, so this is, oops. This is what my mixture is looking like. There we go. Alright. So I had this draining and it has thoroughly drained. This is what that is looking like. So I'm just going to dump this in here and fold it into my mix. So when this is actually done, y'all, it's going to be pieces of pineapple into the mix. I already have my cake pan sprayed down with Baker's Joy. And I have my oven preheated at 325 degrees. Ugh, I'm tired, y'all, so I'm starting to stumble with my speech. My oven is preheated to 325 degrees. So I've got that folded in. So now all I'm going to do is get this mix into my baking pan. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, let's get it in there and get it in the oven. And then I'll work on my glaze. Oh, that's good. grease with the Baker's Joy. So now I'm just going to get the batter into the pan and into the oven. Y'all, I love using the spatula because it gets everything out of your mixing bowl. Without making a mess. You know what I mean. My sister gave me this baking pan and it's been baking cakes so good. I have an older one that I was using and it bakes good as well, but decided to use this one. It's like my cakes always come out so good even with this pan. See? Not much left at all. So now I'm just kind of getting it evened out. I know when we were kids, and my grandmother used to bake cakes. We would all fight over the spoon and the bowl. I want the bowl, I want the spoon. She would always leave us a little bit of the batter on the spoon and in the bowl. So you wanna make sure that you get your cake batter 
in your pan as even as possible because that way it bakes even. All right. So tap the bottle to get the bottom to get the air bubbles out. Give it a few good whacks. Use a few whacks on your counter. Make sure everything is smooth and nice and even. So now we're going into the oven in the middle, right? Just a moment. All right, so my oven is preheated to 325, and I'm going to let this cake bake for at least an hour or an hour and 10, 15 minutes. I'll check it at least within an hour to see how it's coming along. And I'll do the toothpick test. If anything comes out, I'll have to let it bake a little bit longer. If it comes out clean, that means it's done. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, this is what it's looking like out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool. And then I'll be making my glaze. All right, y'all. This is the end result of my cake. We had watch night service tonight, so I was not able to finish everything on camera because I had to go online to service. But this is the pineapple pound cake that I made. I thank you guys for uh, stopping by, tuning in. Happy New Year to you from my house here to yours. I hope you guys have a good day tomorrow. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. New subscribers, thank you so very, very much. Old subscribers, you, you know you're welcome. Always welcome. All of you are actually welcome. I appreciate every last one of you so, 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 so much. And I look forward to seeing you all in 2022. Y'all don't forget to keep God first. Stay safe and stay blessed. Good night.